pitched throughout the playoffs and have the shortest odds to win the Eastern Conference at plus 125. The reigning conference champion Boston Celtics are second at plus 155. And the Sixers, who haven't reached the conference finals since 01, are third at plus 450. So, S.A., would it be a bigger letdown if the Bucks or Celtics don't reach the finals and capitalize on the window they have right now? For me, it's the Milwaukee Bucks. They would be the bigger disappointment. Obviously, the Boston Celtics are the reigning defending Eastern Conference champions. Mm -hmm. Okay, and we get that. And I think the pickup of Malcolm Brogdon has been big time. I think you have questions at the coaching spot. You brought up Ty Lue with the Clippers. I'm going to bring up Missoula with the Boston Celtics. Okay. Whether he's been good as a regular season. He made Udoka got them to the finals, okay? So he's got a lot to live up to. Let's see what happens with that. I don't know. What, what the hell was up with Jalen Brown, who I love? I mean, what, was he out gardening or something? How the hell did he mess up his hand? I don't know what I mean. Before the playoffs? You know, before the playoffs in Boston, how you hurt your hand with plants? And that's what they said. Well, wait, do, you, do you say vase or vase? Vase. I don't know. I don't vase. know. V vase. Is it a vase, vase or a vase? I, 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 I said say vase. vase. I've said okay, vase. I've what said do vase. you say? I just want to see how fancy you what do you I say base. I say okay, base. Yeah. We'll, we'll go with base and Voss. How about that? Which one? Vaz. Whichever one works. At the end of the day, my lord, how the hell you hurt your hand before the playoffs with something like that? But that's neither here nor there. I believe in Jalen Brown. Somehow he'll be ready. I'm just looking at all the noise that people have been chirping about when they talk about the Milwaukee Bucks. Giannis. In some people's eyes, obviously, Warren's being MVP. We can't dismiss that. We know how great he is. Brooke Lopez having an outstanding season. Porter's having an outstanding season. Drew Holiday has been off the chain. And you're hoping that Middleton is going to be there. I'm like, if all those pieces are there, you pick up Crowder, you've got veteran experience, you've got athleticism, you've got perimeter shooting, you got exceptional coaching in Budenholzer, you got defense, you got trees on the front line. And you lose, whether it's the Boston, Philly, because I think that's what it'll come down to, those three. I mean, come on. I'm not trying to hear that from a walk. Now, I expect Boston to go to the finals, to be honest with you. That's my, that's my favorite to come out of the East. Even with but, Joe? You just said it. Even with Joe. That's right. That's right. But with all the chirping they've been doing about Milwaukee, yeah, that's the disappointment. That's what I'm going with. I got to disagree. Oh. I got to disagree. What's up, Rondo? It's called Tattletown, Bean Town. Okay. They expect to win. Okay. It's been a very long time since they've been they've hosted that trophy. Mm -hmm. So going back, you know, to the finals last year, getting it done, that's not going to work. We don't hang Eastern Conference banners in Boston. Mm. Mm. That was a bar. Yeah. That was a bar. And I liked his listening <laughs> skills. How he held it. How he held your point. He held your point against you. That was a very valid Lord. point. I mean, I'm here thinking about basketball now, but I'm like, he is right about that. You know, it is being town. They do expect banners. I got it. Go ahead, JJ. Well, look, I, I don't think you could – you could make the argument that both teams would be disappointed. That's obvious. I think any team that has championship aspirations, they're gonna, there's going to be a level of disappointment. Uh, Rondo's right here in talking about the history of the Boston Celtics and the rabid fan base that they have in New England. Like, I get all that. But the reality is both these teams – they're the two best teams in the NBA. Mm -hmm. If they end up making the Eastern Conference Finals and playing each other – one of those teams is going to be disappointed. Okay. Like, that's the reality. Yeah, sure. And look, the thing with Boston for me, I think we talk a lot about the Bucs being the favorites. The thing with Boston for me, they, they, they were consistently great. They had a little, little stretch in March where they didn't play great. Other than that, they were the, the best team consistency-wise for most of the season. The only, the, only two, the only team in the top two in offense, the only team in the top two in defense, both, in both. Right. There's, that's happened twice in 25 years. It was the 15 Warriors and the 17 Warriors. Both those teams won. So, you know, you watch them play, they look like a championship team. On paper, they look like a championship team. So I, I, I kind of agree with Rondo on this, but to me, like, both teams are going to be disappointed. Can I throw something out that Kendrick Perkins obviously played for Boston, your former team, and as well said yesterday, he's worried about Miami. Obviously, we know Miami has to get past Atlanta, thinking that Miami could give Boston trouble. To that, you say what? No. No, they'll make it a series, but I don't think it'll give them trouble. We agree. Are they playing? Boston and Miami are playing each other? Huh? Say so what? Boston well, and Miami. Well, if Boston Miami, and Miami beats, beats Atlanta, Atlanta tonight, they're the seventh seed, they play yeah. Boston. I didn't realize they played that game yet. Right. I think oh, since the trade, they're you. defense. So, <laughs> look at you. You're ridiculous. You, so you're taking Atlanta? 
No, I'm just saying. Oh, like, God, one step at a time. A one, it's a one, one, game one game series. At a time. Come on. Yeah, I mean, you didn't, you didn't, you didn't, happen I day. agree with you, but you didn't say that when we would talk bypass in Minnesota to talk about the Lakers <laughs> Memphis. I, you didn't say that no. then. No, I said the loss of Jaden McDaniels and Nas Reed is more important than the loss of Rudy Gobert for that game. I'm not debating. They're not. They're not, not winning that game. Debating that, that top. Anthony though. Edwards. What I'm had saying is, for them you to win. didn't say let's not bypass Minnesota. That's what I'm saying. So I'm saying you didn't say that. So I'm saying. Right. Yeah. Right. We, 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 you know, I'm just saying. That, that, that's check him. Go ahead, Molly. I mean, you know, right. go ahead and flex. I mean, you're trying to flex with the I'm sleeve not, shirt. I'm not show trying to flex. I'm you just, in shape. I'm go ahead and flex st- with I'm the show. I'm still right, stuck on JJ's comment. I just needed to give it a moment. All right. Which comment? In a moment. The last comment. Yeah. The game hasn't been played yet. I was just, right. I was just letting that marinate for the audience. So who, who do you have? The Miami. I think, I think Miami will probably win. Yeah. So do I. But you know that. You know this. There's a difference between a series. And a game. I agree. I, I agree. But see, last year, um, the boy Trey Young sent me home in retirement last year by mm-hmm. one game. So, I mean, I can't go against Trey. Uh, I love Jimmy to death, but, you know, he's, he's so dynamic. Mm-hmm. He, he puts a lot of pressure on yeah. defense. Since we're on the subject, let me say this real quick. Trey Young is a star. I know he killed my Knicks a couple of years ago. He loves the big stage, the big moment. No doubt about it. I have complete faith that he'll show up. He'll make some noise, even though Miami knew how to handcuff him when they went up against him. What I will say is this, though. It has been somewhat of a disappointing season in Atlanta. You know, you've been basically 500 balls since Quinn Snyder arrived. Nate McMillan gets fired. You're looking at the volume of shots on the part of Trey Young and the shooting percentage I expected better from him this year. And he'll have a better future, of course. But I don't think this has been a great season for him. All right. Uh, we're staying in the East sort of here. Sure. I want to get into the MVP conversation. So interesting comments from a shorthanded Minnesota team will travel to L.A. The T-Wolves on Monday suspended Rudy Gobert for today's play game against the Lakers after he threw a punch at teammate Kyle Anderson in a team huddle Sunday. The T-Wolves will be without Gobert and Jaden McDaniels, who fractured his right hand after punching a wall in an arena tunnel in Sunday's costly victory over New Orleans. So yesterday, I asked Stephen A. and Kendrick Perkins about their expectations for the Lakers. And let's just say their takes were a little bit different. Take a listen. The Lakers are going to the NBA Finals. When you look at the Western Conference and you look at if they potentially match up with the Memphis Grizzlies, they're going to beat the Memphis Grizzlies. They could beat any team in the West, including the Memphis Grizzlies and the Phoenix Suns and the Golden State Warriors. So when I look at them and what they've been doing over the last two months, this squad right here that Rob Palenka put together at the trade deadline, I had them going to the NBA Finals. This show is like six degrees of Rajon Rondo. Because obviously the last time the Lakers won a chip with LeBron and AD, you were on that team. And then Perk, also your former teammate, won a chip with the Celtics as well. What do you think about what Perk just said? The Lakers going the distance. Um, I agree. Only if they're healthy. I mean, that's okay. a big if. Um, there's a lot of great teams in the West. You have the Clippers, Phoenix, you know, you name them. It's about six out of, seven, out of eight teams that can win it. Mm-hmm. Um, but if they are healthy, uh, I don't go against my man LeBron or AD. Those two guys in a seven-game series are going to be tough to beat. Uh, it looks like they'll match up with Memphis tonight uh, after they get a dub tonight. Mm-hmm. They, do, they do beat Minnesota. But other than that, uh, they'll go Memphis and have Golden State the second round. So it'll be, it won't be easy, but they do have a great chance of winning. I don't think the chance is great. I mean, I give them respect where it's due. They're the best team since, since the trade in the Western Conference. I, I'll give them credit for that. I think that AD's an absolute stud, and we all know LeBron is that dude. I get all of that. I just think people are sleeping on Memphis. I think that people have negated or, or ignored how effective Memphis has been lately. They've been playing that without Steven Adams for a while. They've been playing without Brandon Clark for a while, and they still have been flowing. They lost the last game of the season, but they've certainly been winning. The Lakers, for the longest time, at least for the last couple of months, they had been the second-best team in the Western Conference until, you know, until the last uh, day or so of the season. Memphis was number one. Memphis was the one that was playing damn good basketball. And, we, and I think that we have to take into account, yes, we do have a star in LeBron James. There is a star in, jo- in Ja Morant. And I'm, uh, and I'm just bypassing Minnesota. I'm just not even thinking about them. Now, I know that Ru- Rudy Gobert has been suspended. I know Minnesota plays better, has played better without Rudy Gobert on the floor this year. I get all that, but I am still assuming that the Los Angeles Lakers are going to handle their business tonight, and they will be going up against the Memphis Grizzlies. And I understand without Adams and Clark, it's a problem for their front line, but I just think their perimeter shooting and the greatness of John Morant and home court advantage in Memphis – 
I don't hey, listen. The Lakers could they could they get to the final? Sure, because the West is wide open as far as I'm concerned. About six or seven teams, but I can't bet against I can't bet against.